Victims remembered. Tonight, dozens gather to pay tribute to the children killed in an horrific car crash in Maryland. Hello, everybody. I'm Mary Bubala. And I'm Vic Carter. An emotional evening as the school community comes together to remember two students who lost their lives in an accident over the weekend. Three other children were also killed in the single vehicle crash in Bowie. All five victims were 15 years old and under. WJC is live. Kelsey Kushner reports on the vigil, which came after a difficult day for students and teachers. Kelsey. Well, teachers at Friendship Public Charter School said that today was a tough day at school because they now have two empty seats where their students once sat. Tonight, they held a vigil with students and faculty to honor their fallen lives. Outside in the Friendship Public Charter School playground, dozens of teachers and students lit candles and said prayers, honoring 14 year old Zion Beard and his six year old sister Raquel Ricks. Parents standing close by for support. I think it is important that they celebrate the lives of their friends and their classmates because, um, you know, it, it does stick with you. Maxine Robinson, president of the Parent Advisory Council, says the students put together Monday night's vigil on their own. To remember the friends they shared a classroom with just last week. They love this kid. They love their friend. He's part of the community. Um, you know, he's going to be missed. Police say early Saturday morning, this van ran off the road on Route 301 in Bowie, hit several trees, then spun out. That's Raquel in the middle with her two brothers, Zion, on the right and 15 year old Damari Harold on the left. All three died in the crash, along with their eight and five year old cousins, London and Paris Dixon. She was the happiest baby you ever want to meet, and I'm not saying any more than that. Stephanie Lloyd, grandmother of Raquel, is left without words. 32 year old Dominique Taylor, the driver, is Paris and London's mother. She survived the crash along with 23 year old Cornell Simon, who police say was in the passenger seat. Investigators say the children were not properly restrained in the back seat and all five of them were ejected. Now their families are left heartbroken. They were, they were good kids. They were special, smart, loved to dance, loved to, they loved each other. Now, the cause of the crash is still under investigation. The school says that they are going to continue honoring the students tomorrow. They also say that they're going to bring in support groups to help students with the grieving process. I'm Kelsey Kushner reporting live for WJZ.